<laughs> Peppa and George are going to play in the garden with their ball. Whee! George throws the ball as high as he can and catches it. I can do that too. Whee! Oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> this is a silly game. <laughs> Here is Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep. Susie has two tennis rackets. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Let's play tennis. Yes, that sounds fun. To you, Susie. Oh. Susie has missed the ball. <laughs> oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> Peppa and Susie like playing tennis. But George feels a bit left out. Oh, sorry, George. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. <laughs> I know. George can be the ball boy. Yes. It's a very important job. George is going to be the ball boy. He has to collect the ball when it is hit too far. To you, Susie. Oh. Ball boy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy! <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Ball boy! Oh dear. George doesn't like this game. <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. <laughs> Let's play football. Yes, football. <laughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> goal! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> Can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. go! Goal! Hooray! The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. What a lot of noise. Daddy, the boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee! Me! Me! Stop! Me. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! Where's the ball? <laughs> Quick! Score a goal! Stop them! <laughs> <laughs> goal! Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. Hooray! The boys win. Oh. Oh. Football is a silly game. Just a moment. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? Hooray! Football is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> George's friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Peppa, Susie and Danny are on the left. Are you all ready? Ready! Then let's go! George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. 
here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sandpit. <laughs> <laughs> George and Richard love the sandpit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sand castle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sand castle. <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. <laughs> oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sand castle. Your brother broke my brother's sand castle first. Now, now! You two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right. We're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm. I've got an idea. George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <coughs> seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <laughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look, George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. Sports day. Today is the school sports day. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all here. The first event is running. <laughs> the children have to run as fast as they can. I think I will win. I can run very fast. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Ready, steady, go! I can run at a hundred miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run! Oh! Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, <laughs> Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Come on Peppa! Come on, Danny! <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Peppa and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Thank you. <laughs>
I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Peppa. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. George, ready, steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. If Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Run, Daddy! Daddy, 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 Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Peppa, take... stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! running. Keep running. Go on. And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come on, the girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> Bubbles! Pepper and George are drinking orange juice. <laughs> what noisy little piggies. <laughs> George, look at all the tiny bubbles. <laughs> I can make bigger bubbles. <gasps> Pepper is blowing bubbles in her drink. <laughs> Bubble! George wants to blow bubbles too. <gasps> Uh, George, you really shouldn't play with your food. Sorry, Daddy. <sniffs> Pepper, if you like bubbles, why don't you play with your bubble mixture? Yes, my bubble mixture. <sniffs> George, let's blow bubbles in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is showing George how to blow bubbles. First, dip the stick in the mixture. Then, take a big breath and blow. <gasps> Bubble! <laughs> George, now it's your turn. Dip the stick in the mixture. Hold it up. Take a big breath. And blow! 
George is trying really hard, but he is running out of breath. Achoo! <laughs> George, you didn't blow hard enough. I know a way George can make bubbles. Dip the stick in the mixture, then lift it up and wave it around. <laughs> Bubble! <laughs> <laughs> It's even better if you run along. Wait for me! <laughs> George is having fun making bubbles. And Pepper is having fun popping them. I love bubbles! <laughs> oh dear, the bubble mixture is all used up. Don't worry, Pepper. I have an idea. <laughs> Mummy Pig, bring me a bucket, please. Yes, Daddy Pig. Pepper, bring me some soap. Yes, Daddy Pig. George, bring me my old tennis racket. <laughs> a bucket, some soap, a tennis racket. What is Daddy Pig doing? First, I need some water. Then the soup. <laughs> and now, the tennis racket, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now watch this. <gasps> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! <laughs> be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Two. Wow! Daddy Pig has made the biggest bubble ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I've spilt all my bubble mixture. Now we can't make any more bubbles. <sighs> but we can play jumping in muddy puddles. Look! Daddy Pig's bubble mixture has made a big muddy puddle. Hooray! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Look! The bubble mixture has made the puddle all bubbly. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Pretend friend. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> this is my new friend, Leo Lion. Where is he? There's no one there. Susie has made up a pretend friend. Can't you see him, Peppa? Um... <laughs> Let's play catch. OK. To you, Leo. Peppa throws the ball to Susie's pretend friend. Leo can't catch the ball. He can. He just doesn't like playing catch. What does Leo like doing? He likes to roar. Is he going to roar now? Um, yes. <coughs> Rawr! Wasn't that you? No, that was Leo. Ah, hello, Leo. Peppa pretends that she can see Leo Lion. Leo, will you be my friend too? What did he say? He's nodding his head. That means yes. <laughs> Pepper, Susie, would you like to come inside and have some fruitcake? <laughs> Mummy Pig has two slices of fruitcake for Susie and Pepper. Mummy, Susie's got a pretend friend. He's called Leo Lion. I see. And does he like fruitcake too? Rah! Leo loves fruitcake. Don't be silly, Peppa. That wasn't Leo. That was you. Leo prefers chocolate cake. I haven't got chocolate cake. Will Leo have some fruit cake? <laughs> he will try a little slice. Mummy Pig gives some cake to Susie's pretend friend. George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. 
dinosaur. George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. Um, Leo Lion says he can't finish his cake, so George can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we play upstairs now? Yes! Let's play dressing up. I was asking Leo. Oh. Rah! Leo says he likes playing dressing up. Good. Come on, Leo. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are playing dressing up. Peppa is going to be a fairy. I grant you one wish. My wish is to be Queen Susie and Leo Lion will be the jester. He doesn't want to be the jester. He wants to be the king. Here is Daddy Pig. <sniffs> Mummy Pig tells me you have a very special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? There is someone else. King Leo Lion. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> it's an honour to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes, it is very fine. And he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh, yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper. Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, Susie, your friends are here. Peppa's friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? Oh, I forgot. Leo's wearing his boots as well. <laughs> Look at Leo. He's jumping up and down too. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even pretend friends. Sleepover. It is night time. Pepper is going to a sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hi, Pepper. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. twit to woo And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> Mr Zebra is watching television. Better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bags. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. The sleepover is only for big girls. Oh, they're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK, but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me! Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? Feast. We eat things in secret. Ooh. Ooh. I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. 
<laughs> Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... <laughs> too scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh, dear. The noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy and a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <coughs> The monster lifted up his big, hairy paws oh. and walked along on his big, hairy feet. Ooh. And he said, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. Jumble sale. It is a rainy day and the school roof has a hole in it. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Peppa is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Peppa, have you decided? Um. You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give... Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Pepper, you can't give away Mr. Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know, the television. Not the telly. No, it's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <laughs> <coughs> No, too smelly. <laughs> I know, Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Peppa, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. 
But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'll miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy, that's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the boat pond. The ducks are swimming in their pond. They are very happy. Here are Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Hello, ducks. The ducks want some bread. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got any bread today. We've got something much more fun. Pepper has brought her toy boat. And George has brought his toy boat. Let's wind your boat up, George. George's boat works with clockwork. Quick, George. Put the boat in the pond before the clockwork runs out. <laughs> George loves his clockwork boat. Mummy, can you wind my boat up? Your boat doesn't need winding up, Peppa. Peppa's boat is a sailboat. The wind makes it go along. I don't like my boat. It doesn't do anything. That's because there isn't any wind today. Maybe it just needs a little help. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your boat along. Hooray! <laughs> it went really fast. Peppa loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. <laughs> We're playing with our boats. <laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. Ooh. What a great speedboat. <coughs> Sorry, Mrs. Duck. <coughs> Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. <coughs> I say, that's impressive. How does it work? It's steam-powered. I just push this little lever. Wow! What a fantastic paddle boat. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her mummy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with our boats. I wish I had a boat. Rebecca Rabbit does not have a boat. I've got an idea. Luckily, I brought my newspaper along. I just need one page. <laughs> Which page can we lose? News? Sport? Ah, fashion. Not the fashion page. OK, I'll use the business page. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper like this. What is Daddy Pig doing? to make a paper boat. Daddy Pig has made a paper boat. Thank you, Mr Pig. <laughs> George wants a paper boat too. Oh, oh, I suppose I can do without the sports page. <laughs> <laughs> Please.
least can I have one? And me. And me. <laughs> of course. Daddy Pig is making paper boats for everyone. Let's have a race. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We can huff and puff and blow the paper boats across. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> Ready, steady, blow! We have a winner! Uh, who had the sports page? That's George's boat. George is the winner. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I like boats. And I like paper boats the best. Me too! <laughs> it's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, ducks. See you soon. The ducks enjoyed the toy boats, but they quite like having the pond back to themselves again. Pirate Island. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and her friends for a day out on his boat. Everyone on board. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Full sail. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Ooh. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Ah, we found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness, this piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear, that is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boat. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Wake up! Wake up! Oh no, Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello. hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, actually, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Look! There's Grandpa! We're saved! Hooray! Welcome aboard, me hearties! Naughty!
Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pirate Island. See you again soon. I love Pirate Island. Can we visit it again? Oh, oh of course we can, Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Peppa and George are going to the playground today. Should we drive to the playground? No, let's walk. Look, it's just over there. The playground is quite close. <laughs> OK, let's walk. This way, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going to the playground. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Where has the sky gone? Don't worry, Pepper. It's just fog. What's fog? Fog is a cloud that is on the ground instead of in the sky. Ooh! Oh, it's very thick fog. I can't see a thing. Hmm. Maybe we should go back home. Yes. We'll go to the playground another day. Oh. It is too foggy to find the playground, so Peppa and George have to go back home. Now, which way is home? Are we lost, Daddy Pig? <laughs> Don't worry, I know exactly where we are. This way! Oof! Who put that tree there? Daddy Pig has walked into a tree. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. This way! Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Pepper. We're only in our garden. <coughs> oh, it's the ducks. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Have you lost your pond? <coughs> We're lost too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> 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 Now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello? Did you hear something? Yes, I thought I heard someone say... Hello? It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we. But it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. This way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Our house should be just about here. Oh. Daddy Pig has found a ladder. That's strange. We don't have a ladder in our garden. Goodness me! Can you see where we are, Daddy Pig? Yes, I can! <laughs> Daddy, where are we? Why don't you have a look? OK. Wow! Wow! I can see everything again. The fog is going away. <laughs> We're at the playground. Hooray! Whee! We're at the playground. We're at the playground. Whee! <laughs> seesaw, seesaw. Daddy! Mummy! <laughs> We're at the playground. Well, that's lucky. But I thought we were trying to get home. So did I. Maybe we did get a bit lost, after all. <laughs> <laughs> the Time 
Elephant Capsule. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Today we are going to make a time capsule. What's a time capsule? A time capsule is something that will show people in the future how we lived. How? We'll put special things in this box and then we'll bury it in the school garden. Will it grow? <laughs> <laughs> no, Susie. It will remain in the ground for many years. Ooh. Now, what things should we put inside? A comic. Very good, Pepper. <laughs> Music. Very good, Susie. A toy. Nay. A coin. Stamps. Squeak. A carrot. <laughs> oh, you do like carrots, don't you, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All those are excellent things to show our daily lives. Madam Gazelle, what will the future be like? What do you think it will be like? I think in the future I will live on the moon. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. <coughs> You're probably all living on the moon now. And going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. <coughs> it is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. <coughs> Mummy, Daddy... We've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Ha oh, ha, it will remain in the ground for many years. But I can't wait that long. Peppa, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes my mademoiselle. <laughs> when your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes, I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. It's our old time capsule. Hooray! I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Stand back, children. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What do we have here? Oh, an old comic. That was my favourite comic. A tin toy? My favourite toy. Music. My favourite record. And a very old carrot. That's mine. What a good choice, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a videotape of your mummies and daddies when they were little. Ooh. <laughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Oh, and that's me. Hello to the future. <laughs> what a squeaky voice you have. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now. <laughs> Silly little Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Making time capsules is such fun. <laughs> and finding them is even better. <laughs> Mystery. Peppa and her family are watching their favourite television programme, Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world-famous detective. Ooh. Ooh! Please help me, Mr Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr Detective. <laughs> that was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Peppa. 
Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <coughs> George wants to be a detective too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <coughs> now you look like two proper detectives. <coughs> and we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. <coughs> Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! <coughs> How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. <coughs> Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <coughs> like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <coughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <coughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <coughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <coughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <coughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah. But that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. <laughs> I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. <laughs> Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Pepper and George's bedroom. The crumbs have stopped. How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, oh, do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Pepper? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs>